Thank you, Kim. The latest now on the problems with Rhode Island's new benefits system that the Target 12 investigators have been tracking for months. Tonight, the ACLU is now suing the state over the ongoing issues, saying some people are now in danger of going hungry. Target 12 consumer investigator Susan Campbell has been on top of the story right from the beginning. She joins us now live in studio with more. Susan. Mike, the ACLU called the UHIP computer system, quote, extremely troubled. Now the organization is asking a federal judge to step in and order the state to deliver SNAP benefits on time. According to federal court documents, Mia Martinez, a mom of three, is still waiting for SNAP benefits for food. She applied on August 29th. Her story, now part of a class action lawsuit filed against the director of Rhode Island's Department of Human Services. Our lawsuit argues uh, that this failure of the computer system uh, continues to cause thousands of households to suffer the imminent risk of ongoing hunger. By law, states have 30 days to determine eligibility for regular SNAP applications, seven days for expedited SNAP applications. According to data from the state, there are 1,675 SNAP applications in progress, another 482 awaiting documents from clients. Some of those date back to September. This has gone on far too long, and it's clear to us that outside intervention is necessary. We have a At a Friday afternoon news conference, the state's health and human services leaders said they haven't had a chance to review the lawsuit. We'll be discussing um, and coming up with a response. But they say they've been tackling the SNAP application problems for months. We recognize the issue. We're working on it. It's our highest priority. Our goal is to eliminate that, that backlog. Last month, DHS submitted a corrective action plan to FNS, the federal agency that oversees SNAP. I'm Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.